All right, now, assuming there's no kinks or blockages in the line, now, from your syrup pump, the only thing you can really, really should test here is the gas inlet. Make sure the syrup pump's actually working and has gas going to it. So what we do is we drop out the gas supply, press the button, make sure you get a good hiss there, then push it back in. It simply pushes it in and there's a little slide here which locks in place. Okay. Once that's done, we expect it to, the pump to make some sort of noise or action. There is a possibility that the pump itself has jammed or malfunctioned in transit. It was tested out before we sent it, but unfortunately, secondhand pumps, things do happen. Usually when these pumps blow though, what happens is you get gas just constantly whistling out of here. This is the exhaust port. Um, when, the get, when the pump gets used, you'll hear a tss tss noise and a bit of gas will come out of here. If the pump dies, on the other hand, nine times out of ten, you'll just hear a constant tss. It's a constant hiss and if you don't take the gas connection out, it'll just empty a gas bottle within a couple of hours. So, that's all we can really check on that. Make sure there's no kinks, blockages, anything like that. Double check that the fitting on the end is screwed onto the box all the way, because sometimes they do come off. Make sure it's letting the drink out, but as you said, if it's already in the line, that should be enough. The next section, basically this pumps it directly into the bottom of the machine, through a chilling coil and up to the valve. Now the valve itself, is the first photo you sent me and I will send you a photo on that basically you'll see on the photo you sent me um, four adjustments in a line with like a white adjustment knob sticking up that you screw in and out with a flathead screwdriver now from memory winding it 